me now, bless me now, bless me now, my Savior. I come. I just felt in my heart in obeying the Spirit of the Lord to just come and sing a little bit of that song for somebody and mainly for the morning for the morning families my heart is just so overwhelmed right now with the death of George Floyd with all the other things that are going on just with the continuous hearing of this is happening, you know, to black people. This is going there and this is going. And I'm like, Lord, we need you right now. We need a word from the Lord. We need to hear you, Lord. We need to just turn our plate down. Maybe we need to miss a meal and just seek the face of the Lord. The Lord did not bring us this far to leave us. He didn't bring us this far to leave us. He said... He would never leave us nor forsake us. I, all we have, all we have, all I have that I found to be secure is the word of God. It's the word of God. John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All we have is the Word that has been tested and tried from the beginning of time till now. Uh, it, it's the same, Jesus said, I'm the same today, yesterday, and forever. So what am I saying? I have no idea what the parents are feeling right now. I can imagine. All I know is, is when I watch either one of the videos or any of the things that are going on, my heart just crumbles. It just goes out in compassion. And that's where we are because Jesus felt compassion. Yet my compassion has to go on into empathy. Not sympathy has a part. But now it has to move on into empathy. Empathy 
feeling sorry is good, but what else can we do? And one of the things that we're going to have to do is number one, pray. I know, I know, I know. Look, all you Christian people want to do is pray, pray, pray. But that's what God told us to do. And once we learn the power of prayer, we will use prayer. And then we will also walk by faith. And we will hear the word of the Lord. And he will give us directions. God will give us a strategy on how to deal with what we're facing right now. The enemy thinks that he has an upper hand. He knows that his time is short. He knows that Jesus is soon to return. Whether you believe it or not, he will return. The enemy knows that. And he knows that if he can bring division, no matter how he does it, because his victory comes through dividing and conquering, God's victory comes through unity unity, speaking one mind and coming together and working together. So my prayer today in my devotion that we will continue, O oh God, to stand on the word of God and seek him for a strategy. Seek him for directions. Seek him for where we should go, what we should do, and what we should say. God is 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 my God, he's victorious. He's never lost a battle. He's never lost a battle. I know you might look at the Holocaust and think, well, that wasn't too good. You look at the, uh, we can look back in history and see tons of things, but God never fails and he's never lost a battle. He will give us the strategies. He will give us the wisdom. I pray because the enemy is raging. You can feel it in the atmosphere. And I pray for our young men. And I pray for our young women. And I pray for any person that is a person of color. I also pray for people that are not the person of color. That they will see the light. And that we will all begin to see that we're all human. That we all bleed red. As Frank, Kirk Franklin's song says. We all bleed red. We we're all created in the image of God. We all breathe. We all have the same, listen, vocal cords and in and, and lungs and, and, and our internal organs. They're all made the same. Let me explain something. When I worked in the operating room for years, one of the things that blessed my spirit, and I knew it already, but to see it, to literally be able to see the inside of a human body in operation, it didn't matter what color the person was. Whenever we went in to do a surgery, we all had the same anatomy teaching. We all had the same anatomy book. We didn't have a different anatomy book, not one for uh, uh, Caucasians and one for the, the, the red and one for yellow and one for green and one for black. No, it is one anatomy book because we're all made the same, we're all human, and we must have a respect for each other. I just wanna pray right now because know this, God's word never fails. He didn't bring us this far to leave us. He didn't bring us this far to leave us. Oh Father, I thank you right now I thank you, Lord God, because all we have is your word. One of, Lord God, your scriptures say in Isaiah 26, 3, that you will keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Well, Lord, right now we need your peace. We need your peace. The nation needs your peace. Lord God, the, the families, Lord God, of all of these young men that have been murdered and then even our youth lord as they're fighting in the streets and lord they're hurting and killing each other and then lord with the the virus that are that are tramp running rampant out the world and out the nation and lord all of these things but we need your peace we need your guidance we need you the song says i need you 
We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. This is this we we know, Lord God, that you hear, you're not deaf. We know, Lord God, that the word says that we have a high priest that 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 can not only feel but sense everything that we're going through. Well, Father, right now the believers are crying out. And Lord, if they're not crying out, I pray, Lord God, that they begin to cry out today. Jesus, thou Son of God, the Lion of Judah, the Rose of Sharon, the Lily of the Valley, the Bright and the Morning Star, the Great I Am. Oh, we need you right now, Jehovah Rapha. We need you right now, Jehovah Jireh. We need you, God. We need you, Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Elada kasanda de bokosa bokosita. Ishando de mohomo yeda bokasera bokosa da kabi jesa. Holy Spirit, we need you right now. Holy Spirit, we need you right now. Holy Spirit, lives are at stake. Holy Spirit, mothers are crying out. Holy Spirit, sisters, Lord, the, the children are losing their fathers. Oh, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, not only are they losing their fathers that are that are incarcerated now, God, not only are they losing their fathers, Lord, because of the coronavirus, not only are they losing, but Lord, now they're losing them, Lord, God, at the hands of the authorities, Lord, at the very ones that are supposed to be protecting us. Oh, God, help us today. Help us today. Help us to realize, Lord God, that you're still here. You're still here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we bless you, Lord. You know, Lord, so many say, well, you know, let's just let's just pack up and, you know, maybe we should just leave this country. And, and, and that is, I would love to go to the motherland and, and see it in whatever the Lord would have for there. But you know, I, I read uh, Harriet Tubman's autobiography and she began to say, no, this is my land. We died for this land. We bled for this land. And this is my land. And I don't need to leave it, but I need to be treated as a human being here. I need, and that's my paraphrase. You won't hear her say it exactly in those words. But that's what she was saying. We gave our lives for this land. Father, we thank you right now. We thank you, O oh God. We bless your holy name. We bless you for who you are. We thank you, Lord, for who you are. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. I'm normally not on this time, but I'm learning now to just obey God. I'm learning to just obey God. That's all this. That's what it's all about. It's just about obeying God. Amen. You know, none of us know when our last moment is. So what we need to do right now. You just be in a position that we just obey God. Obey the living God. Whatever he tells us to do, to do it. There shouldn't be any argument. There shouldn't there, there, there shouldn't be any any type of um <clears throat> Lord, should I or should I not? No. Let's just obey God. We need a word from the Lord, and you might be the one that he's sending the word through. Amen. You might be the one. I told the Lord years ago, Lord, I'll just be your instrument. I'll speak what you have me speak, and I'll go where you have me go. Sometimes the enemy can bring in fear. He can make you think, you know, oh my God, can't you see what's going on right now? You sure you want to be doing that? But you know something? For God I live, and for God I die. I come 
Jesus will never leave us nor forsake us. His word never fails. Father, I speak peace right now to each and every one that is under the sound of my voice and everyone that will be under the sound of my voice as they hear this recording. Father, I speak peace to their hearts. I speak wisdom. I speak, Lord God, victory. I speak courage, Lord God. I speak life, Lord God, and not death. I speak health, Lord God, and not sickness in the name of Jesus. I speak victory and not defeat. God, raise them up, Lord. Give them wisdom. Lord, let they speak into their ear, speak into their minds, into their hearts, Lord God, what you would have them to do. Order their steps. Order our steps. God, touch those weeping mothers and those weeping families right now, the ones that are mourning and going through so much. Lord, I know what they have lost loved ones. I know the pain, God. Give them, Lord God, comfort like only you can, like only you can. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen and amen. We'll see you next time. Please support us. We're over at youtube.com forward slash Esther, E-S-T-H-E-R, or Pinkston, P-I-N-K-S-T-O-N. I love you and God bless you. Just hit the subscribe button and then share if you're blessed. God bless you. Bye-bye.